Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Tuesday. Good to see you too, Mark. Hopefully everybody's all uh, doing fine after the long, long weekend of this wonderful Memorial Day. Once again, uh, let's give a round of applause uh, to all those great uh, warriors and those vets for great service. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Well, uh, let me tell you, typical, I don't know about your weekend, but I'll tell you, I had a great weekend. I went to uh, Jones Beach here in you know, Long Island, and uh, it was one of the biggest air shows in the country. So a couple of F-14s doing a couple of nice little air shows right on the boat. Uh, beautiful day, gorgeous day, the whole weekend, which I, as soon as I saw what was going to happen yesterday, on Sunday, I'm like, my God, it's going to be really slow today. I know so many people are just going to be like, why well, I got to rush to work? And you know what? You could see what's happening in the market right now. Uh, this is, and I told you this was going to happen on Monday and Tuesday of last week, and then we saw it ha actually spilling into today, and uh, I mean on Friday, and now you could see it starting to spilling into this morning. Totally, totally normal, you know. Uh, and this is what you have to prepare to be a successful trader. There's times when to trade, and there's times when not to trade, and that's why if you look on uh, what I just showed you just here about a second ago, the uh, the phase three lesson where you can be doing live trading with me in class. That's why we're doing it tomorrow because I know everyone's still hung over from the weekend and uh, coming uh, coming across over here. So uh, that's typically normal. Now, and and regarding with the market, I mean, I saw Ben just post up a couple of uh, a couple of stocks that are moving. I ha I had them on my list. You could see it. There's really not that much going on out there. So you got to be very very selective. I mean, there are a couple of brand name stocks that are moving, you know, here and there, but nothing spectacular. I mean, maybe if you got lucky on some of the swing trading stocks. But other than that, I mean, you, you heard about the fiat. Um, I heard about this morning about the merger that, or they're looking to merger with uh, with Renault. You know, so you got that news that's coming out. And you know what? Like, I, and I'm looking in the chat room. I mean, even, you know, even uh, Mark even saying AMD moving after their weekend expo. I mean, for us to go down that road and trade AMD, we must be pretty damn desperate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let me just bring AMD, yeah, AMD here. Uh, I mean, like I said, to, to go to this extreme, that just shows you there's really not that much out there. Now, if we look at the big percentage gainers on the left, I mean, the big winner this morning at 8 o'clock this morning is the only one I found was the BIOC. I mean, very inexpensive stock. 2.5 million shares already trading pre-mark of 25%. Look at all those great, beautiful iceberg orders out there. Just a gorgeous uh, uh, movement there in the market. But, I mean, what did it do? I mean, you start at 8 o'clock this morning. We're from $1.40 to $1.60. I mean, unless you're trading 10,000 shares, 5,000 shares, 1,000. I mean, listen, if you hit the bottom, you know, you could at least pull 10 cents out of it. So you got to be really, really careful where when it comes down to that regarding about the uh b the bioc oh by the way uh grant brockway uh are you in ohio i mean my god i don't know if you're part of that whole i was also listening uh regarding about that catastrophe that you guys going on over there with the hurricanes and then the flooding and stuff like that holy god unbelievable i don't know if you're uh are you down in florida grant just out of curiosity where you are hold it Hopefully your boats are doing. Well. I know you have that marina down there. I'm gonna be careful. Uh, geez, that's that's just terrible. Yep. Yes, you're in Ohio. Are you getting affected by it at all, Grant? I mean, is anywhere by you? You got power? They said what they said. Like five million people are out. Terrible, man. I, I pray for you guys to watch out. Okay. Take care of you guys, self over there. No, it's on the south. Okay. Thank God. All right. That's good to hear. Well, listen, we all, I think we all have been affected somehow in our history in life. Um, I mean, I got affected by Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Irene. I mean, some of you down in Texas. I mean, some of us in California. Unfortunately, sometimes these catastrophes do make opportunities. Remember, we heard, remember we made a lot of money trading PCG, get taken the blame for the fire fight, the fight, the fires down in California. So, um, you know, I mean, it's it's uh, it's endless. I mean, it's endless. But anyway, what what's going on um, this morning, and what else we got going on? Just uh, just really quick regarding about what happened on Friday. Uh, we had the FL trade. Let me just fix my time frame here a little bit. 
For some of you that are new or missed what we what we traded, I mean, this stock got destroyed, went from 56 all the way down to 42. We got a little bit of a dead cap bounce on that one. The uh, the BIOC was a, is basically, you know, uh, you, we found it also last week, but she's also, you know, kind of like uh, picking up where it left off from uh, from Friday. So that one made the uh, made the nice list pins. That stock is pretty strong. That stock, uh, Pinterest, IPO went to 24, up to 35, came right back down to its support levels. And, uh, you know, listen, once it breaks that IPO price, that's a very bad sign. So it also was a good opportunity for a – a swing trade there. You could have got the opportunity, but I'm going to throw this back on the watch list. A lot of companies, by the way, come out with earnings. I think I, I, I can't believe Uber's already come out with earnings. I thought they were allowed to come out with earnings after the, the uh, they got to trade for three months. But apparently, Uber's coming out with uh, earnings this week. Uh, a lot of earnings, uh, good earnings coming out. Costco, I think, is coming out. Uh, I got to check my list, but it looks like it could be a, a little bit of a fun week with the earnings announcements. We'll change a couple of things around. But what also we got going on uh, this morning in in pre-market. So we got that one. We got plain. That one also gapped up pretty big. You could see that one right there, but it's kind of like just like stopped, you know, AMD. I mean, really got to be stretching it and desperate there. If that was the case, F F A uh, F C A U, which is Fiat, that one we already know about with the merger, A T V I. I think that is part of the whole deal, right? Is that uh, no, Activision uh, Blizzard. That's the double. Guy. Okay, so this is another stock that's gapping up a little bit on the expensive. Big issue with this one though, big spread guys. Got to be careful of that. By the way, remember what we 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 cover in class, Phase One. You know, I always get people that take phase one and like, ah, is it too beginner? So let me tell you something. If you don't know what's tradable and non-tradable, you'll get crushed. Listen, the cheapest thing you could do is buy the stock. The most expensive part of the trade is getting out of it, okay? So you didn't make any money until you sell the stock. So don't worry about buying it. It's getting out and making sure the buyer's out there and big, big spread. So I might reconsider this one. And I'm going to put the pins on there uh, on the stock. Now, there are a couple of the stocks that are moving that were in the watch list. You know, I'm, I'm really, really curious on this Uber trade. You know, see what's going to happen there. Uber's been a great swing trade for us. Uh, a lot of us uh, took a nice little profit there. We made some money on that big back off right there. That was pretty fun. Uh, I got, ended up getting, getting out of it, and I got out right around here. I also got out of the CSQ. I think I told you guys that. And um, it's kind of holding pretty strong here, so we'll see what, how the market goes. But I had such a big profit on that one. I, I figured let me just take the profit. Uh, I just basically cashed out on my dividend on that one, and I'll, I'll probably buy it back. You know, I was getting a little nervous on the market. And then uh, pretty much that's about it. I mean, it, you got Twilio, you got Lyft, you got uh, PCG. I mean, they're all up about 30 cents, 70 cents. It's nothing really crazy. And, and this is typical, you know, the hangover after, you know, Memorial Day, people coming back. I, you know what, Ken? I saw the NEO, the NIL. I was another one I found this morning. I'll throw that one back on the watch list. That's that electric car company we did pretty well. That thing got destroyed. I mean, look, I got killed, basically. Never made a comeback right there. But, yeah, I'm going to definitely keep an eye on that one, too. Nice level one stock, absolutely. Nice trending for all the beginners out there. Look at those iceberg orders you'll find there. EEM, uh, Terrell, gapping up a little bit nicely. You know, it's up, got great volume, decent spread. But, uh, you know, you got to be a little careful on this one right here. I mean, it, it look at 10,000, 10,000. Look at all those orders. So, not really a big... EEM fan. Uh, Brian says, what about the TVPT? That one, it gapped up, took a little bit of hit from 16 to 15, really hasn't gone anywhere. I don't know. 9.7 million shares trade. It takes a lot to move this stock. Probably not. You know, we'll see how it opens. Listen, if there's nothing out there, it's okay. We'll worry about it tomorrow. That's why we got class tomorrow. But as of right now, it unless something pops up at 930, we'll just go what we got. But just be very careful. Try to let's go. Let's deal with second protocol, meaning let's trade some stocks that we trade in the past. All right, guys. All right, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. Um, we'll see you back at 2.30. And don't forget, uh, today is a very big day. Um, you could see we have traders talk today. That's going to be at 1 o'clock. 
And then, to, and then tomorrow we start the phase three classes with me, live trading with me, where we take everything you learn from phase one and two. And then remember, we always had open house. So uh, like I said, it's going to probably take a day to kind of recuperate from the people for this one of the start of summer with this, uh, you know, with, the, with Memorial Day. But we'll go from there. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And we'll see you um, in Trader's Talk. And then we'll see you at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.